Good day guys, been here. So previously we did a, a CCTV camera. So today let's uh, add some uh, more features to it. So in floor plan, you can see a little um, diagram uh, to show you the view range and also in 3D view. So you can have that thing uh, to it. Okay, so let's do it. So first, I'm just going to start from, from so actually you can uh, f download this uh, from the previous um, exercise. Okay, so now we have this one. So this is a, a, a face-based family. Okay, so now let's first let's add some uh, lines on the floor plan. So because this is a face based family, so when you so it's a slightly different to a normal um, gen generic model. So if you look at the views, so the floor plan is actually an elevation. So if I change to shade, you will see this is looking. Uh, so we are looking at the wall. Okay. So which means if you want to do something in the floor plan in the project, so you need to go. So if you go to 3D view, so this is a floor plan. If you go to 3D view, you will see. So this is the floor plan view, so which is top. And if you want to, so imagine you're looking at this family in the, uh, a project and it's, it will be looking from here down here so this way so if you look at this look at this so this is front and we actually we need to create those uh, thing in this the back view okay so let's go to back view and let me change it to shade so you will see this is the top of this family okay so Okay, so first um, we're going to use model line. Okay, so we're going to use model line. But before that, there's a few settings we need to, to do. So first, we need to uh, if if I just create a model line, so you will see these are the subcategory. So currently we don't have any. So except this hidden line and generic model. So what I'm going to do is I'll just create a new subcategory so uh, object or hell before that because previously we used uh, we created this uh, created this as a generic model okay so first thing is we need to set the oh, sorry not this one we need to set this category to a correct so cctv i guess um i'm not too sure what category we need to use maybe security device maybe okay so let's so let's ch ch uh, choose this one so now after you change the category so we need to just check check the subcategory so go to manage object style you will see there there currently there's no subcategory so we can add one so add new so I'm going to just name it uh, maybe view range maybe okay so uh, uh, no maybe not view range uh, camera view okay so and okay and then for this subcategory you can change the line uh, type so and color so for example I'll just use gray and I'll use dash and uh, Okay, so now we can go to uh, create a model line. But before that, um, because this camera, it will be placed. So if you go to here, so family types, so so this is a default elevation. So th this is a height. So imagine you place you're placing this family in a project, and this is the elevation it will be placed on so so for example if it's 12 meter so 
every time you place this one in the project, it will be automatically go to this height. Of course, you can change it, but this will be the default. So what we're going to do is because camera, uh, CCTV camera, I'm not sure the standard height, what the standard height is, but I guess it's it's pretty, it's quite high, right? So maybe 2400 or even higher, but I'll just leave it at 2400. But the issue is, so if we place something at 2400, usually the cut plan of a floor plan is usually around 1200. So you won't be able to see it. So what I'm going to do is I'll just draw place model line on a floor level. On a floor level. So which means if we go to a floor plan, so I'm going to place the, so see this is, so imagine this is uh, the default level, elevation level, so which is, uh, I just changed it to 2400. So we need to place the model line roughly here. So I'll just draw a reference plan RP and I'll name it a uh, floor level. And then I'll just do a dimension DI, dimension from here to here. And then, so let me change this scale so you can see the dimension. So now select this dimension and we can link this to the default elevation. So which means this, 20, which is 2400, this will be the floor level. So now we can go back to the ground, uh, back ele uh, elevation and create the model line. But if you click a model line, the default play, uh, placement plan will be the front and back okay so what we need to do is we need to pick change the so we need to do this so pick and we need to change this to a floor level reference plan floor level which uh, we just uh, add, add it okay so change this one and okay so now we can draw some uh, model lines so okay so let's just do change the separate category camera view, zoom in, and then let me just change it to wireframe, wireframe. So what I'm going to do, I'll use this, so from his, this point, see this, and as my um, base point, so I'll just draw a line from here, roughly to here, okay? And then I'll draw another line from the same spot to this direction, and then, so this will create a, a view uh, angle of of my camera. So now we can add dimension to it. Okay, so DI and I'm just going to dimension the whole view range. Okay, so and then I'll add a new parameter. Let's call it, um, uh, let me just call it view range. Okay, so and instant, um, how maybe type. Maybe type, you know. Okay, so now this is the view range, but we need to make sure so it's centered to the this reference uh, uh, plan. So, so what we can do is so actually I'm going to show you um, we can't do equal. So I'll show you. So do if we do this and this. So it and if we click on equal, it will t uh, tell you our over constraint. So what we in this situation, what we need to do is, so we need to delete this one, and we need to do one dimension here, and then we need to do another dimension here, okay? And then we need to create this. So select this one. We need to create a new parameter let's call it half I'll just call, call it half a view range view range half okay so view range half and in uh, maybe type as well okay so click OK so it's okay but you can't 
apply this to this because it will over constrain it again. So what you need to do is you just need to de delete this one. Okay, and then you can change this to VRH. And then we just need to go to family types and VRH equals view range divided by two. So now, because this one is controlled by this view range, so we, uh, I, I like to change this and place it to, I like to change the group group uh, parameter under, and I'll just normally just place it in another. So in the project, this one will usually uh, down there, you won't see it. You, you only have those, uh, these dimensions in here. Of course, this, this will be gray out, so you can't change it anyway. So if you click OK, and then that's it. So now you can use the view range, so which is this one, to control these two. Okay, so now I'll just change it to maybe 120 degree. Uh, okay, so that's the, the angle, and then the the, the uh, distance, so we can create another model line. So just double check, uh, uh, hang on. we can't see it here. Yeah, so it's, it's actually here, so floor level. And then create it, use this center end arc, start from this middle, this point, and then I'll just draw roughly uh, from here to here, and then we can trim them, okay? And then select this, create a radius. So now we can create a, another parameter. Let's call it um, distance, maybe view distance, and maybe type, and OK. So now you can change change the distance of this. So for example, uh, maybe 6 meter. I'm not sure. Yeah, all good. So now this is for the floor plan. And so because they are model line, they will be visible if by default. So what you can do is, so just check this one. So um, maybe I don't want to uh, see it in course view. Um, and also it, it will be different. It's not, this floor plan is actually not floor plans. So the fr front and back view of this faced base family will be the actual uh, plan view in the project. So you just lead, leave this on and uncheck these two and OK. So now let's uh, have a look of this. So I'll just create a new project. OK, so oh, hang on, sorry, my, my mouse not working. Okay, so create, let's place a wall there. And then I'll just go back, create, and place this, uh, load this. And then, so you will see place on vertical face. And this is the default elevation of the level. So if I place it here, and yeah, so you will see, you will still see this uh, camera because there, there are the model lines on the floor floor level, so y you won't see them because I, I unchecked the uh, the visibility in detail course. So if I change to medians, oh sorry, median, so you will be able to see this. Okay, and okay, I think that's um, yeah. Let's have a try. So if I go edit type. You can change the angle of this, and yeah. And now let's go back to this. So let's uh, add some. So and let's add a 3D uh, a, a cone shape uh, solid. So okay. So it's it's actually quite easy. You can just do create a a blend. Okay, so we're going to do a blend, and first we need to set plan. So I'm going to pick the screen. So pick this plan, and then so 
pick the profile so i'm going to just pick this this uh, screen the edge of the screen okay so this is the the one and then just click on edit top so you can just um you you don't need to uh oh hang on current work plan so maybe let's just check double check oh hang on let me show oh it looks like it's still on the same work plan so that's fine that's good so we need the same work plan so which means we just need to create another profile so um um i'm not uh quite sure about this profile because this will be a big profile right when when you have the camera view i'm not sure how big it need to be uh for maybe uh for different uh, camera uh, they will be different so what i'm going to do is i'll just uh roughly uh guess okay so maybe three meter maybe six meter by six meter so i'm going to offset from this one so o, oh sorry o f i'll type in three meter okay now maybe i'll check the copy so i can tab click so now we have this shape so it's uh, roughly six meter by six meter so roughly six meter by yeah so and then i'll just finish it okay so you will see this is a very thin uh blend a solid so here so which this one you can actually uh li link this to the view distance so so you will see now every time you change the view uh, distance it will also change this shape okay and then uh, of course we can just do some settings of uh, for example you can create a parameter let's say a view uh, 3d okay so so you can control it so maybe make an instance and so you can also do this maybe you don't want to see them in any of the floor plan or elevations you can uncheck all this so it will only be visible in 3d view and also um maybe not in course okay so and then click ok and then you can create a material so maybe i'll just call it view 3d material so ok and also the subcategory let's change it to camera view as well okay and then that's that's it um let's try so if i load this into there so you will see this nothing's uh changed so it's still the same and then um if i go to so 3d view so you will see see this thing and then of course you can you have the option to if you use cores you won't see them and if you uh if you select select it and then you have the option to turn it off okay and also also um yeah you can add visibility parameters so for example if you go back there so you can also add visibility parameters to the these shape so so maybe we can do this so i'll just say uh co create a new one so maybe view 2d okay and instance and okay and okay so load this back and override and then so in 3d view you can turn this off as well but this will also affect the floor plan if you turn off the 2d um yeah because it's a model line um yeah i think the issue is we looks like uh it will disappear the whole thing will disappear because once we hide the this model lines there will be nothing in the floor plan so maybe um let me think maybe you can you can uh do a symbol or something there so for example i'll just quickly uh do a create uh use model line maybe 
and um, so I'll use the the main category and just do so something like I'll just draw a little triangle shape maybe we can do something different mask region let's try this so I'll do maybe this okay so I'll just do a little shape so I'm not sure what the uh, usually uh, a CCTV symbol sh sh look like but I'll just draw something here and then so these are the setting that's all good um, visibility that's all good draw in front yep yeah, all good let's try so load this back all right so there's a symbol there so maybe we don't want to see this model so we can go edit family so go to 3d view select this these models so uh, all these are solid and then go to edit so visibility graphic override and maybe uncheck let me think we don't want to see it in floor plan right and okay so load this back and override oh still I'm missing something ah sorry let's go edit family so it looks like I missed something uh, anyway let's do this select everything here except dimensions except void except reference on and okay so go back here again so see i missed something now load this back override go to ground floor so that's it so whatever symbol you draw it will show in floor plan so you won't see uh, the camera the actual uh, camera family so i think that's that's it so if you let me, let me ch try to change this so six meter um yeah 12 oh not 12 120 yeah and in uh, in 3d view oh it's still there uh, yeah you have the option to turn it off down 3d yeah if I change the angle, yep. Okay, so that's it. Um, oh, and the material. Sorry. So you can you can just pick uh, maybe uh, create a new material with a little bit transparency. So for example, I'll just uh, add transparency to it, and so transparency. Okay. Okay. So. That's it. Okay. So if you have any question, please let me know. Um, I'll see. Do uh, maybe I'll just upload this family as well, so you can have a look. Okay. So that's it. Thank you for watching. And also, I think uh, someone mentioned. I, I I can't find that comment anymore. So someone mentioned some. Uh, there's a, a CCTV plug plugging uh, for Revit. I think it's, it should be very uh, professional so but uh, our um, goal is just maybe half of the goal is to learn how to model families right okay so that's it thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye